Today we're going to show you just how easy it is with Indusoft Web Studio and the Web Thin clients to view applications remotely using Internet Explorer. Uh, on this screen I've created uh, called Main Screen, I'm going to add a couple of symbols. Here I'm going to go to the symbol library and add a slider that I've created. And in this slider I'm going to change the tag name to become temp. And that does not exist, so I'm going to create it as an integer value. Click on OK. And we'll change the label at the top from label to be temperature. And we'll just leave that as 0 to 100 min and max. Now I'm going to add a switch here. And we'll just grab a blue switch. And here we're going to change the command, which is going to be when you touch it be a tag called SW underscore one and that does not exist so let's make that also let's make that a boolean click on OK and double click here on our object finder and we'll select switch one from our list so we don't accidentally mistype it. Close our object properties let's save our screen and close the screen save changes yes now, uh, before we do this, we have to publish these screens as HTML. So I'm going to go here to the Application button, File, Publish, Save All as HTML. And what that's done here is created a main.html screen. So, one more thing that we need to do here within Indusoft Web Studio is under the Project tab, I need to go to the Thin Client Settings and enter a data server IP address. I'm just going to enter 127.0.0.1. That will be my local loopback or my my uh, computer here. This would be the IP address of where your application was running and where the tag names existed to be able to serve to uh, your remote application. And so I'm just going to click on OK. Now the other thing that we need to do is launch a web server and configure it. So I'm going to use Microsoft IIS that's built into, in this case, Windows 7. So let me open that up. So here I have um, Microsoft IIS and when you first come in you will see it configured something like this and I'm going to go navigate down to sites, default website, and here I'm going to choose basic settings. Now here under the basic settings you need to point to the web folder of your project and where that can be found on the uh, hard drive here. I'm going to test the settings, make sure that my connection is authorized, say OK. And one other thing that you need to do here is configure MIME types. And the MIME types uh, in the documentation, the help system for Indusoft Web Studio will show you how to configure those. And it, it varies slightly depending on your computer and the different operating system that you have. But the basic idea is you'll double click here on MIME types up here on add and then based on the extension you will enter um, some values in here and again that's all laid out in the documentation that takes you about a minute to do so I'm going to um, do that and then here back on default website um, the other thing sometimes uh, once you have it all set up it's good to restart your website you don't always have to do that but that's just a good practice to to do once you get things uh, set up and, and kicked off. Now that that web server is running, I'm going to um, open up my uh, application here. Let me do one more thing, just make sure if I didn't do this before, on my screens here I want to right click and set as startup for that main screen. And now I can run my application. Once my application is running, you can see I can flip the switch and, and uh, slide the slider up and down here. And now I'm going to open up a, an instance of Internet Explorer. So here I'm going to enter 127.0.0.1 main.html and you can see that it's already come up and uh, it's that quick. So here I can adjust the slider settings, and you can see back here on the real Indusoft Web Studio application, it is changing the values. Here you can see that um, when I click on this switch, it will change the value of that switch, and again on the slider. So it's that quick. Now again, this is a remote uh, browser view of that, and it's very easy to have this running remotely. 
and uh, viewing your application securely, although I didn't configure secure security on this uh, application, it's, it's just that easy. Thanks, and uh, if you have any uh, questions, there's a uh, contact slide after this video. Thank you. For more information regarding Indusoft Web Studio version 7, you can visit our website as shown here at www.indusoft.com or other websites at indusoft.com.br, indusoft-germany.de, or you can send us emails at info at indusoft.com.br or indusoft-germany.de or give us a call directly at any of the numbers listed here on the screen. Thank you for listening and I uh, hope you have a nice day.